on the road again Just can't wait to get on the road again The life I love is making music with my friends And I can't wait to get on the road again On the road again Going places that I've never been Hello, YouTubers. It's me, Michael Brewer, your gay guru, one man, two dogs, reporting to you from the beautiful island of Oahu in the middle of the Pacific Ocean in the state of Hawaii, USA. You know, tonight I said gay guru, and I did that very consciously, even though I get flack for using that title or that expression of myself from different sides, from people who think that a guru shouldn't have to identify himself as gay uh, uh, based on his sexuality or upon anything, a white guru or a black guru. But I, you know what? I beg to differ. I'm proud to call myself a gay guru and, because, and I do so very consciously. I am a gay man. And I'm not ashamed to say so. I'm very proud of that fastback. Matter of fact, just as I, anyone... Anyone should be proud of anything that they are. Does it make me different or special? Well, maybe. It does give me a different perspective. I do tend to see the world in a different way as a gay man. Kind of like an outsider. Because as far as we may have advanced in recent years in the media or in public rights, we are a segregated minority to some degree. Um, I have a husband, but I can't necessarily go walking hand in hand down the street with him in public all the time or express my feelings for him in public as a heterosexual couple would. We are denied many of the rights that are just taken for granted by married couples, even though we are technically married. Um, and I don't mean this to be a gay pride speech, but I guess it is in a way. Uh, I am proud. And I'm also proud of being a gay guru, guru and I want to tell you why. Um, traditionally, in many indigenous cultures that I have studied over the years, gay people have been shamans. I mean, that's if you look in the American Indian culture, the uh, Pacific Island cultures, even including here in Hawaii, uh, in the African cultures, in Aboriginal cultures down in Australia, in many cultures, very often the shaman or the uh, holy person is what they would call a third sex, neither man nor woman, and somehow, somehow outside the normal bounds of society, uh, which gives them both a privileged place and also kind of a lonely place. Uh, you don't real you're sort of outside the mainstream just by definition the definition of a shaman is outside the mainstream and as a gay man well so am i also as a gay man it affords me the perspective that i just don't take for granted that what the majority thinks and what the majority does or so-called race mind thinking is necessarily the truth or even the right or most correct path uh, we are used to being outside the, what most people think and do and so when I go and explore cultures as I do if you those of you who watch my one man do two dogs channel or my other channel our boy two eight or my, with my other friend Tom Berg, uh, the other gay guru, um, we like to explore things and to offer a view of things that are that is not the mainstream, that represents something kind of outside that. Uh, we're more sensitive to what's hidden and what's in the closet. Good case in point is right here in Hawaii. Uh, uh, recently, um, the film that I produced and directed, Rainbow Crossing, which has won a number of awards at uh, film festivals and will soon be distributed on Oasis TV, uh, we explore the spirituality of Hawaii, which is very much in the cult in the closet now. Uh, 
It was a very much alive and well for thousands of years, carried from Tahiti here to the Hawaiian Islands, until the Christian missionaries came in the late 1800s and quashed it. They, they clothed the beautiful naked Hawaiian woman in these terrible black crepe clothing uh, and Mother Hubbard dresses. Uh, they forbid their uh, free sexuality. They forbid their their kahunas from teaching and meeting uh, until it, it's gotten so bad now that you can't even throw a stone here on this island without hitting a Christian church of some kind, whether it's the Baptists or the Episcopals or the Catholics or the Fundamentalists or the Mormons. Um, and in fact, it's gotten to so extreme that a lot of... there It's a common belief that Hawaiians, a lot of them believe that Christianity is their original culture, which is very much far from the truth. Um, they had a polytheistic religion, uh, spirituality based on nature spirits, uh, based on Pele, the spirit of the earth, and uh, it, it was absolutely beautiful and entirely suited to this culture and climate. And so when, when uh, we explored this back in 2006 and filmed Rainbow Crossing, we were looking at, as gay men, at their gods and goddesses who were in the closet and, and welcomed them to come out. And in fact, they did on our film. And if you're interested, you can see uh, the clips at www.rainbow-causecrossing.com or look us up here on YouTube at rboy28 uh, and take a look at that. We've also explored the uh, Italy and the Catholic cultures there. Uh, I've been down in Bali and explored culture there. Uh, the point being that being a gay guru allows me to see with a different eye, maybe a little bit more from my third eye, to be more sensitive to what is not on the surface and what's hidden and maybe even what's a little bit shameful and seen as shameful as society and shamed and to encourage these older more hidden wisdoms and knowledges to come forth again and live again and to come out of the closet to come out of the spiritual closet and then there's a whole other aspect of all this and that is uh, for gay and lesbian people who I particularly wish to reach out to. That goes for transgender and transsexual as well. Uh, I would very much want to reach out to you and to ask you and beg you to come out of your spiritual closet. I know it's not like really cool for me as a gay guy to be talking about spiritual things. I mean, we, we, we're like the queerest folk people and you know, it's okay to about talk about sex and violence, but about God? Ooh, <laughs> ooh that's a taboo, isn't it? Well, I'm, a, I'm proud to break this taboo, and I'm proud to be the gay guru, and to tell you that, you know, despite what they've told you, whatever religion is, tradition you've been raised in and, and, ra and uh, indoctrinated into as a child, that you are the beloved child of God, whatever God you believe in, or gods. Um, we are just as sacred as anyone else, and don't let them ever... Don't ever buy into the belief that you're not and that you're a sinner, because it's just not true. In fact, as a gay and lesbian, transgender, or transsexual person, you have a really sp unique and special role to love. You, you can love people who are not being loved by society. You're able to teach and reach people who are not being talked to or reached. You're special and you are loved really beloved by your gods and I love you too because I'm the gay guru Michael Brewer reporting to you from the island of Oahu wishing you aloha and mahalo